In this video, I'm gonna show you how to update your installed version of XPSX 2.0 to the latest version. As with any program that is in current development, XPSX 2.0 will receive updates over time, and as such, you'll want to update to them to get better performance, better features, or any other cool stuff that might get added to it. Now, like with other UWP apps in dev mode, this does require you to uninstall your old version and install the new version. So, having your games and stuff running from USB is essential so you don't lose any progress or data. But let's go ahead and dive in. Now, as we get started, this guide is assuming that you followed my XBSX 2.0 install guide to get everything up and running from USB, because if you are not running from USB, as soon as you uninstall XBSX 2.0, everything that you had on it is deleted. Thus, why it is so important to be running from USB. That way you don't have to worry about backing anything up. It's already all set on your USB drive and safe. So all you have to do is update the program and then redirect some directories. But anyways, the first step to getting XBSX 2.0 updated is to download the latest version from Sir Mangler's GitHub. So just go in, grab the latest version. Link to the GitHub page will be in the description below. Once you have that downloaded, go ahead and get your Xbox Series X and S booted up into dev mode and connected to your network. Now from here, make note of your Xbox's remote access IP address and get booted into your Xbox device portal on a PC or other device that has a web browser. You can't do it directly from the Xbox itself. It doesn't work like that. Once you're booted into your Xbox device portal, we just need to get XBSX 2.0 uninstalled. So there's two ways of doing this. You could do it directly from inside the device portal here. Just click on uninstall. Or you could do it from the Xbox by pressing your back button and going to uninstall. Either method works. We're just going to go ahead and do it here. There we go. Now to get updated to the latest version, just go ahead and click on the add button under my games and apps. Choose file and select XBSX 2.0 wherever you might happen to have it stored. And then just click on next. There's no dependencies for this one, so click on start and it will install it for you. And done. And with that, we are done with the Xbox device portal, so let's head back on over to the Xbox. So now the first thing we're going to do with our new XBSX 2.0 updated install, head up to it, press the back view, but whatever button, go down to view details and change the UWP type from app to game. And then as always, I like to do a console restart here just to make sure everything takes effect. Probably isn't necessary, but whatever, I don't care. And with the Xbox rebooted, let's go ahead and boot back into XBSX 2.0 here for the first time with our updated build. So we are going to need to reset all of our directories. So we're going to start with the games list here. So just press right bumper to head over to the game list settings and then add a search directory for your game list. There we go. And then you could choose your default view once again as desired. And then you could also set your covers directory here as well if you had one set up for USB previously. So I have one on my USB drive in my XBSX 2.0 folder. And I just named it covers. So there we go. That is now all set. And when I go into my games list, it is back to how I had it before the update. Now just head into settings and we're going to do the same thing in here. Just change all of our directories to match what we had before. So BIOS directory, that is our first one we're going to do. It's just right bumper once from the default settings page. So again, parent directory, choose your USB drive, XBSX2 folder, and then select your BIOS folder. So again, this is all assuming you followed my initial XBSX 2.0 install guide to get all of these things set up correctly to how you need them. But next we're gonna change our memory card directory so that way we don't lose any of our saves. So again, change the directory, parent directory, go up to E, XBSX2, and then I had a saves folder. So I'm gonna tell it to use this directory. And then finally, the rest of our folder settings as needed. So if you set up a cache directory, you could do that one as well. Snapshots. So 
Save states. Game settings. Input profiles. Cheats. Texture replacements. We're going to skip over the patches one real quick. And then last, video dumping. And there we go. All of our directories are now reset to point to our USB drive. But depending on which version of XBSX 2.0 you're coming from, you might have to change around your widescreen and no interlace patches directories because they have now been combined into a single directory. So I'm going to cover the process on how to update that right now. Let's go ahead and exit out of XBSX 2.0. Now go ahead and remove your USB drive from your Xbox and move it over to a computer of any variety that can read NTFS formatted drives. So here I am back over on my desktop with my Xbox USB drive in place, my XBSX 2.0 folder. So you can see I had a no interlace cheats folder and then a widescreen cheats folder. So these just need to be combined into a single patches folder now. So I'm just gonna make a new folder in here and name it patches. So one method, you could just copy everything into this patches folder. But what I would recommend doing instead is just getting an updated version of all the patches out of the latest installer for XBSX 2.0. So right clicking on the installer, if you have 7-zip installed, you can just extract it. Open it up under the resources folder here. You will see patches.zip. So we're just going to go ahead and get that. It's not pinned to start. Dang it. Going to get it extracted. And now we're just going to copy every single patch file. And paste it into our new patches folder inside our USB drive. And there we go, they are now copied over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of the no interlace cheats and widescreen cheats folder as I no longer need them. Perfect. And with that, we can now move our USB drives back over to the Xbox. Now just get XBSX 2.0 booted back up. Head back down to settings. Left bumper over to our folder settings. And let's change our patches directory over to that new folder we just made. So USB, XBSX 2.0, and patches. There we go, use this directory. And perfect, everything is now set back up as far as our directories are concerned. So from here, if you want to, you can re-enable your retro achievements. There we go. Change any settings in here that you want. Perfect. Go back through and re-enable hotkeys. If you have any saved profiles, you'll be able to load those directly from your USB drive once again because you have everything saved. Go through and reconfigure any base settings you need since uh, per game settings will be saved, but the overall settings will need to be reset a little bit. But you'll once again be able to enjoy all your PS2 games just on the latest version. But thank you so much as always for watching today's video. I hope it helps you get your XBSX 2.0 updated to the latest version with ease. But here at the end, I do have a couple of favors to ask. Be sure to hit that like dislike button, depending on how much you like today's video, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keep it going, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing all of this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current champions. Thank you so much for believing what we do here and helping us keep it going. You are just amazing. We couldn't do it without you. But until next time, I wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.